Hi guys, uh, welcome back. Last time we talked about um, points and curves. Today we're going to talk about another important object in um, Rhino, which is service and mesh. Okay. Um, when we talk about mesh, I think first time, um, you know, every project, right? We start with uh, site model, right? Um, usually uh, we go to SketchUp. We get like SketchUp topo. Right, um, you can get site topo from anywhere in the world, right? Um, so actually, Rhino will, uh, has like really seamless connection with SketchUp. You can just open SketchUp file directly. So what we do is really simple. Just go to File, go to Open, File and Open, and then just find that SketchUp file. That's it. For example, this is SketchUp file um it's a topo file and i just open up they will pop up like uh, you know some options things like that usually default is really good uh we just click ok then we have the topo open up okay and and it's like um it's so accurate okay it's exact same as sketchup and the unit the shape of it always the same okay right now the unit it's inch we can just go to right click and unit setting uh, we can you can actually go come here and set up any unit you want okay for example we can change to feet click ok ask you whether or not you want to scale it yes we want to scale it then all the numbers ch change to feet okay for example in this case from this point to this point so you can actually see the number here okay is like 6,000 you know kind of feet in here um, so it, when you open up SketchUp file um, you usually have this kind of plane right that's the plane of SketchUp so what we do we just delete that and uh, I think that's it um, and you can look at it right um, the other important thing is surface right um, we can call this a service mesh just like a face, right? And it's not a line of points, right? Um, it's not. Um, they they have this kind of representation of grid, right? You see this a lot, okay? Um, this is a, another uh, uh, important part is the representation, okay? Because um, like this tool, right? When you open, it, there are all different kinds of representation, okay? If for example, click. Right now we are like while frame. Uh, if you click this, shade it, they become shaded. Okay, so it's not transparent, you know. Uh, and there's some uh, different color on different faces. Okay, see here you can see the shade. Right? Did you see the shades here? Right? The shades, shades here. Right? Um, and this is shade also but without the lines the grids okay and this is pretty cool this is rendered re viewpoint so which means you know um, all these three is just conceptual stuff and when, when you change to render you will be able to actually show the site image okay uh, like the sketchup uh, in sketchup we got this kind of site model right and right now you will be able to get site image things like that all right so uh, basically this will show the texture the color um, the material that is uh, what the SketchUp model is based and you can also assign texture material in Photoshop also but well, no in Rhino also okay so just remember we have this kind of view view type all right um, and the other kind of stuff view type we can you can just play with it um, but this four is really important for us all right and this is our faces all right um, the other the other other one about this is these tools you see here um, it actually has a bunch of different kinds of shapes okay it's row it's row shape see here you can just you know it's is some basic shapes okay you can draw from here okay just play with it 
to go find out. It's just some raw geometry, okay? Um, like this, this pyramid, I guess. See here, we can set up different angles, you know. Uh, also, when you work with Rhino, uh, make sure make sure you like you definitely gonna look at this okay definitely want to look at this okay which is the the reminders okay the pop-up information right the command line okay uh, if you have Mac you may not uh, be able to you may don't have this command command line but you should have some window pop up here okay some options it's basically the same thing, just different ways to show up. Okay, just notice that because once you click a tool, see here it change, right? This all setup you can change with the tool. Okay, you can play with it, and you can see here there is like some uh, small videos about how you do these kind of shapes. Okay, um, so these are all the row shapes. Just um, understand that we have that. All right, and. Uh, And one thing we I want to sh you know is in Rhino there's actually two types of service. Okay, uh, one is called Mesh, like this SketchUp is Mesh. All right, um, the other is actually um, service. Okay, um, but how to in, in order to get service we have to use a really important tool called Drape, uh, which is from here. See here, uh, this service creation tool, right? There's a lot of ways to create service, and what we want to do is the drape, which is this one. Okay, when you click this one, and you have to, and drape we cannot we cannot work on uh, perspective view. We have to double click and click double click top. So you just draw a rectangle and release the mouse, and there was new service created, and this service. With the drip tool, see if we click this. See here, it will pop up two things. Okay, one is service. One is this uh, SketchUp group. It's a name for that, right? And you will find out. Um, so if you ser search, uh, select the service, you will see this gumball also. Uh, you can actually, by the way, it's actually the same with curve. See here, you can drag. You know, you can rotate. You know. Um, you can even see here. You can even scale, right? To scale them, okay? It's pretty cool. Just really take advantage of this tool, okay? You will like it. Um, you can change anything, okay? Service, curve lines, um, curves, lines, and services, okay? And you will find out this is service, this is mesh, okay? They're actually different. Mesh is made by triangles, and service is made by these squares, okay? And also, the other really important part is service has really strong um, performance. Okay, it has it's really strong, uh, effective way to uh, for designers to modify them. Okay, um, if you select a service like curve, you just select this point, this point tool. They will see all these kind of points. Okay, but if you select the mesh. And you click the points tool. It has these kind of points also, but these two kind of points are so different. For example, if I click these points, I click these points. I will see here. There's a gumball also. Okay, if I drag it, I didn't can drag it right. But this face, just straight face. Okay, straight face. It's like straight face flat face okay but if it's a service I select for example if I select um, these points somebody if I select these points and if I drag see here the service have nice transition between them and the points See here, the points is actually can go out of the service. Okay, so there's actually more smooth transition. Okay, this is this is like the this give you really strong control on the shape. 
okay you just need to select the points and change it okay so just understand that okay so usually when we work with uh, Rhino we want to um, even though SketchUp model is mesh we still want to transfer into service okay we would like to work you always want to work with service and just, uh, just remember that all right um, and also remember the drape tool okay so that's re the ones I really want to emphasize okay use service don't use map instead of using mesh use service okay it's landscape architecture use service a lot so that's today um, I will see you next time.